first use on a more regular basis to the midfielders for the Fremantle Dockers. Windle it goes uh, deeper stop the forwards for the Bombers. Uh, Heppel, what a job he has gotten. He's got uh, playing deep forward. He's been spectacular so far in this season, but a big one required today. And the big one is in the middle, and he gets the tap down. Sandilands, we're underway. The final game of round four from Patterson Stadium. Bit of pinball action in the middle. Carlisle gets the first possession. Hibbert, who's been really racking them up this season, sharing it with Zaha Rakis, and now Heppel as the Bombers venture forward first. And Danaher out on the lead, takes the mark. Lee Spur looking after him just for that moment, but I've got a feeling that changed in transition as he let out hard. And that's well placed ball too for Melson. Excellent kick back into the back into the corridor, and, and it was quick too. And I think that's what you need to do about with Fremantle, especially with the way they can press things up with the opposition. If you kick it quickly, Hawthorne showed that last week that you can find the gaps, and they're able to do they do it on this occasion with Heppel finding Melson. He was thinking about it, wasn't he? Getting the handball off Melson. So we'll see if his confidence. And that was just a little off to the left. Still, they score first here at Patterson Stadium. And they got that first centre clearance, and they are going to be uh, a must-watch this afternoon, given the discussion throughout the week. Reece and land centre clearances, etc. McFarlane sets Pavlich away, and the Pav takes him up. Crowley's been able to break and streak forward to the 50. It's all ahead of him. He's got time to steady, assess if there's better options, but in the end, he takes on the responsibility and kicks a goal. A mighty start to the Dockers and Ryan Crowley. A great passage of play here by the Dockers. Just uh, streamed the ball out. Pavlis was on the lead. Uh, grabs the mark on the wing. He got a bit of extra there. Uh, could arguably have been 50, but uh, got up very quickly. And Crowley's on his bike there, John. And that's when he is playing his best. Poor last week. He's had a great start. He did. And you just see, come across here as Hooker. But Bagley there in the goal square is on balance. On. He needs to come earlier and just back in that one of his teammates was going to flow in behind to help him out. And there it is, uh, the transition. Just That is just uh, what we've seen of Ross Lyon's attempt to just get an extra couple of goals, just a little bit more adventure from defence, and he's away early. Sandlin's taking care of business in the middle. Silver service down from Mzungu. Not the greatest of kicks to try and snatch at centre-half forward, and the Bombers' defence able to team up pretty well. Hibbert got it across to Bagley, and now they're away with Zaharakis, or are they? Good pressure from behind once and then twice from Ballantyne. No panic, though, setting in for the Bombers. The switch is on for Hooker. Well, Bomber Thompson would have said to them, look, you've just got to weather the storm. The Dockers are going to come out here, and they are going to try and make a statement. Just hold the ball, just keep working it, don't give it away early, try and get a score on the board. And that's what they've done. But uh, quite clearly, the Dockers are up, mentally uh, primed, and this is going to be a great contest. And Ewan missed the target on the way forward on his debut. Subin sends it straight back to Hibbert, who's under some pressure. Tabernacle comes in, works hard. It's a great, fierce contest early around the footy. Hibbert just revised his decision midstream. Stanton getting involved a couple of times with some directions from Hurley. Out to Merritt for us from his 35 disposal game last week. Yeah, Heppel's excellent run and drive last week. Hebel's work rate then was, was very good. You mentioned Van Ewan with the missed kick, but his work to get the ball from one side of the yeah. ground to the other was a positive start to his career. That wasn't so positive for the Bombers. Comes unglued on the wing. Lockie Neal. Who we noticed, noticed out there, Jared, in the pre-match, he's got very solid legs, hasn't Three he? Three trunk legs. Uh, so similar to Cameron Mooney's on the boundary. Yeah, thanks, Dwayne. Uh, Jerry, you just see uh, Crowley there after he kicked that goal, just ran straight back and gave Watson a nice hold mouthful, so he started already. He's working the physical and he's working the psychological. He might just be working, letting him know that it's hot out here today, isn't it, Jerry? <laughs> Three hour up and about. Neil's kicked a half forward. Their half back line's been very busy, the Bombers. Hibbert already has had three disposals. Stan's pushed hard forward, but he hasn't read the play well enough because his uh, teammate couldn't kick at 80 metres. And Duffield was there for company. He had Van Ewan. You, Van Ewan. Van Ewan. Just get that out correctly. He had him short. He needed to use that one up Gee. properly so that he could then get that rolled on. Brendan Goddard. He's a watch for us now this afternoon. They already lost Myers before the game. Who was crook. Getting strong work down there. We'll get uh, Moons to follow that. He was watched before the game as well. I don't... Yeah, he was. Another look. Another blind kick to half forward. That would be Ross's main annoyance, I think, so far. He'd be there delivering the centre half forward. That's a, not a great kick. Well done from Spurs. 
Excellent. going to be Bomber Thompson's main annoyance. I know that uh, Dustin Fletcher not there. He's still their main distributor across that half back line along with Hibbert. But you just can't uh, go butchering the ball, giving it back when you've got spare players. It's probably better and uh, within his more accurate distance. Zaharakis got himself into trouble and couldn't get it out. Pierce, though, he might make him pay full price. Oh, no, on the line. Hurley saved the day. Pavlis just couldn't judge it to the perfection he needed to. And now it's over and out. Just quickly on Goddard, guys. We, we know he went down in the rooms just in the warm-up pre-game. Here he is going through here. Just on the boundary line, he's just stood up now going for a walk. But it looks like he's left inside of his left uh, abductor you know, thigh area. Just uh, that's where they're working on at the moment. Thanks, Moons. Watson away to Heppel and then Merritt. He's cornered here, Merritt. Has to be bowled. Is he smart with the kick? Uh, at least not a lot of damage can come from it. Stanton's able to gather it. He needs to be clean with his possession too. They're on the back foot, Essendon. Hence the kick from Hurley. Need some clean footy here, the yeah. Bombers. Uh, but just the last three minutes, they have succumbed to the pressure of the Dockers. It's the, tra the trademark Frio pressure, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but it's easy too. Zara Rark's drop mark was, was a, just a basic skill error that, that shouldn't occur. Yeah, good, good call, Jono. And there's a good pass into Zach Clark, who's back in the team for the first time this year. Been a slow recovery after injuring himself at a music festival over summer. It's not the call you really want from the coach. But uh, here's his chance. Certainly added a bit of height replacing Hannah this week. Comes in, and that's a ooh, mighty close effort. And it's hit the post. It was interesting that last kick of Daniel Pierce's, whether or not it was a pass to Pavlich. No. Or shot a goal. A shot goal. I think it was a shot at goal. Yeah. Open goal square, hit the goal square, ball bounces through. So you think Pav would pick that up? Look back himself in as well. He was there to take the mark. You've got to take them clean, but hold up. Let the ball dribble through. That's total disposals we saw there. So Bombers getting a lot of the footy, but as we said, they've been hemmed in with his back 50, and they're finding it difficult to get out. Howlett in two minds. Tight call from the umpire on the 15. Well, each one of those mowing strips is five metres, which will give you some indication of how long the kick is. Merritt up towards Danaher, who flew early, took a couple of dockers out, but Fremantle had the numbers. Hurry kick comes forward from Sutcliffe. And it's over the line. Good to see Clancy Pierce back in the lineup for Fremantle. His season last year ruined pretty much by injury. Hand it anyway. Yeah, he needs to provide the run. He's, he's pushing back at the moment. Some run off half back through the wing. And with a bit of luck, he'll hit the scoreboard for Fremantle today. Zaharakis handled it cleanly that time. Heppel, still a rush style kick to a one on one. McFarlane's interfered. Lynch, we see the substitute down there stretching up is there is there a consideration that perhaps Goddard's afternoon is over well it's probably not a bad thought at the moment Jared. I mean he's he's back on the bench now so he's been down here for close to five minutes and as we know with rotations you're back on and anywhere between uh, one and one one and a half minutes so he's been down here a while still stretching out that left side and but as we speak he's standing okay. up and coming to the boundary so the ball over which is certainly a a watch in the next couple of minutes to see how Brendan Goddard goes over the top. Carlisle slapped it to the front spur. There's bodies going everywhere, and such is the intensity in the heat out here at Patterson Stadium. Bombers really with their probably only their second opportunity to go forward with any sort of style. And Ewan finding it is tough there. And there's a free kick for some high contact. And the Dockers have slipped one onto the uh, field with the Bombers unaware. And if he charges forward, Tabernet may become a factor. In the meantime, Subin travelling the outer side. Finds Hill, quickly springs into action long for Pierce. Gleeson was there, made some contact and took it out. It's been uh, impressive, Gleeson, in his uh, few games to yeah. date. Good running power. He's only a whippet, but uh, he is a pretty harsh, hard uh, at it player. And a couple of 19 year olds, Gleeson and Ashby, in this Essendon team. Got five players under 21 years of age, the Bombers. Kick goes wide to the wing and escorted over the line. And of course, Van Nguyen is 23 years of age playing his first game, coming from Frankston and then in with the Bombers VFL last year. Zach Dawson returning to Fremantle's lineup today. He was also missed last week through suspension. So, a lot of huff and puff, only one goal so far scored in the first 10 minutes.
Both sides breaking down in various areas of the ground. And again, the turnover. Bagley thumps it out wide. Stanton has got the running boots on today. He waited. He wasn't sure whether he could get to that on the foot. He's going to have to work overtime. Stanton to uh, just provide a little bit of leadership with uh, some of his other teammates. In particular, David Myers uh, not making it onto the field. Joe Watson, just the one disposal so far. Under close attention. Zaharakis, no awareness. And he'll take that as a result, I reckon. Jono, you spoke about Crowley doing different jobs. Now he's gone to Goddard at this stoppage. Well, that's important with Watson off the ground. That's the, the next dangerous, most dangerous around this area of the ground. Heppel is the other one. And he's going to Monday at the moment in that stoppage as well. So there's some big matchups out there today. Two on one situation here. They've dropped an extra back nicely. And that's where it counts. So Hurley had some time and space. And this time Watson's able to get involved. Van Ewan, good clean take. Doesn't have anything clear for him at the moment as he glances down through the centre of Patterson Stadium. So the captain's on call. Takes the mark. Gets a little clap from Howlett. Doesn't like that. And they're buzzing around in short. So it's a bit by bit process for us. And then Ashby. Think about Hibbert. Just got to him before he was closed down. Could have released the next kick, but felt it was a little bit too risky for him. Just settling a little bit now, the Bombers, and they needed to. Carlisle's pushed forward and gets himself a free kick. It's good. It's patient use of the ball, keeping control of it, and that's where they've let themselves down in the early part. He's turning the ball over in this area of the ground, between the 50s and around the logo. But you can see now that they are lacking that extra tall in the forward line. That's poor play from the Fremantle Dockers to allow... Uh, Someone to just march up and take a chest mark, not on. We look to Heppel. I've got a. You could see that the ball was going to sneak out the back, but just crept through and over the line. Well, that's what was so effective last week against the Blues in pushing forward and hitting the scoreboard on a regular basis. Perhaps Stronger take... opponent this week in Johnson, so he's going to have his work cut out. He looks a little bit sore. He's, he may just actually end up uh, running this game out from the goal square. They need an extra tool down there. The Bombers have come in. Obviously very short. Normally this ground you're taking extra tools, not less. He might be, in the end, trying to just keep Johnson occupied. Take him deep. Because Johnson can cause some trouble as the loose. Out wide to, again to Gleeson. They've got one in the middle they can hit up if they're game enough. And they are. Switches on, as Jared said. Hibbert. He went for the last possible second to right, release. Jake. And it was a good decision. Got it into the 50. Merritt just had the fumbles. Watson, Hipple, had a bit of time. He trusts his left boot. He's given a plenty. Got out in the shuffle. Might have given a shove. Yes, he did. And you mentioned that matchup there. If Johnson starts to run, that's if Goddard is sore. That's where he might struggle. So you might even get Goddard over to Dawson, who's not going to run off as much, which may then help with, uh, with a type of niggle that he may be carrying at this present time in the game. Johnson gives it plenty. Sandilands and Clark. Joint targets on the wing. Mark Payne. Again, he glances ahead, and there was nothing for him down the line. Well done for Essendon just to halt the progress here. Lee Spur slides in, takes the mark. And he's got good reserve at the back. And here is Michael Johnson. Conservative target was the short one, McFarlane. Inch by inch, Frio's turn to work it gradually. Stephen Hill. It's the way it works. You create the hole, you lead up at the kicker, create the hole in behind, and that's where you'd like your next midfielder or half forward to float into. Clancy Pierce. Pavlich can't take the mark, but he can follow up well. Ballantyne searching for Sandilands. It's where he can get dangerous forward. Oh, Mzungu shut down. Terrific tackling by the Bombers, but Freo have got plenty on offer, and the kick was shaped nicely to half forward. Hibbert again outstanding after the Crozier kick. He gets help when it was needed. Stanton was able to scoot in, and again, he's involved from Melcham, and now Danaher maybe one hand. Good pressure. Oh, oh, oh a he's been high. crunched by the Giant. He won't mind that Ross line, though. He made a big physical statement as long as he doesn't get reported. That's a big, big blow from a big, big man. Collier. Oh, oh, I think he tried man. to get as low as he possibly could coming from seven feet high. His head. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very high. 
In fact, was dumb in the finish because he had him cold. He could have uh, dropped it down very easily underneath the shoulder. Gave away the penalty. Gee, it's a real game of possession at the moment here. And Hepple with an interesting decision to go back. And uh, found his man, Gleason. Smart kick. Strides out of defence. Kicks it out wide for Hurley. He'll wait. Bagley runs into space. Further advancing. 20 metres more. Now Goddard makes the break into the pocket. Stanton. Stanton's there as well. And here is the aim. And the fire was good. Well set up by the defenders from Essendon with Gleeson breaking a line, a smart kick out to Hurley, and then Bagley breaking the next line here at Subiaco is so important. And that allowed then Stan to get free who worked on a big 50 metre run. So Frio, the only goal so far. And we've gone 15 minutes. Mighty kick needed from Stanton goes right across the face. The Dockers really spoil each other more than anything. Opportunity for Essendon perhaps to pounce. Ashby trying to get it back to Merritt. Fluky ball to Boer. Top of the square. Opportunity for Carlisle to feed it out to Watson. Again, forced to go all the way back. Gleason shake the kick beautifully. And again, Stanton popping up in the right place. This time, uh, just on the forward field. Two in a row from Gleason. Two very smart kicks. Just pulling his kick at the last minute. Excellent piece of play from the young player. You can see the Bombers just going short every time almost. It's 33 to 11. A couple of long kicks were really just uh, shots at goal that went astray. They can't afford to, obviously, because they haven't got tools on the end of them. And again, it's Sanderlands versus uh, blokes half his size. And again, they fall at the final hurdle, the Bombers. But that's a scrappy kick that could give them an opportunity. Right. It was high from Ashby. Play on again, the call. And look at this man go. Look at him run and get the crowd on their feet as Hill. Dangerous centering ball. If it comes off, it'll be fine. But... Free kick, but it's enough time for the Bombers to get their zone behind and to cover most of the advancing Fremantle troops. Well, they're trying to stretch them across this vast expanse here at Patterson Stadium. Spur dabbing it for Duffield. He's got Mazungu who's powered on into the forward Great pocket. Great running, Mazungu. If you're not prepared to run today, you are uh, going to get badly exposed. And that is great offensive running by the Dockers. Many of these blokes were in the back 50 only uh, 30 seconds or so ago. And let's find out whether Mazungu can hit one home from about 45 to 50 out. He's kicked three goals in three games so far this year. Like most of his teammates, pretty quiet game last week with 13 disposals. He started strongly today, but neither side have been able to a little bit too effective inside their forward 50, as uh, the scoreline would reflect. Well, if Essendon are going to allow Fremantle to have their shots, uh, they're going to want it to be from the positions they've had them so far today with Clark and now Mzungu missing on that far side of the ground as Goddard's getting some more attention to the upper part of the thigh, maybe through the groin area. How long can they carry him for? Well, they're, the going, they're going to have to for, for the first part of this uh, first quarter at least. As long as that doesn't risk any further damage, right. I suppose. Yep. Carlisle, Hippel, and Hardingham has been a rejuvenated player this year. Hurts as well, especially with losing Myers before the game, who's crook at the hotel. Well, they've got nobody of any size whatsoever down there. Uh, Joe Danaher was just shielded out of that one. So all the uh, support act, they are basically just crummers. There's no Goddard, there's no Carlisle. Well, Jared, he, he, Goddard is definitely the story down here. Like we said, he's back in the hands of the trainers. We just watched him for the last minute or so he was on the ground and he could not break out of a stride so he, he's really is struggling he's a little bit agitated down here walking around the boundary and the physio hasn't left left his side either so it is pretty big news down here at the moment guys it is the main story on it stan working well in tandem with hibbert and now he gets it back again from howlett and unfortunately melchon was just standing still and he was a sitting duck and came unstuck again for the bombers suckcliffe was able to get it forward, but now here's the angle kick from Ballantyne Creative for De Boer, and the pressure builds. Pierce takes it from Crozier, and he led them a merry dance inside 50, and most importantly, he makes it count. And in a game with only two goals, it's been two strikes from Fremantle midfielders. But is the difference in this contest. Set up with the Ballantyne kick, and watch this. This is so difficult to do. Look at the pressure that he's around, the amount of Essendon players to get the ball back to that position of the ground. 
That's an unbelievable kick of the footy. And then Pierce with good composure. He had Hill at the back here. He had Tabernard short. Took on the in, control himself and made sure it went straight over the goal umpire's head. And Moon's a bit of confusion on the boundary line. It seems uh, that McFarlane's come off the ground. He's being replaced by Crowley and... They not, I'm not sure they're on the same page. No, they are definitely not on the same page down here, Jared. And Zach Clark's in the hands of the trainers, just getting a little massage on the calves as well as some kind of massage machine. It's quite funny to look at. First with the latest down here, Moons. I haven't seen this one before, guys. I'll have to find out for you. We need you to investigate. They've got to hang on here, the Bombers. No doubt, Jared. Unable to score themselves. Uh, and the Dockers are just starting to get a taste for it. Interesting. Six inside 50s to four so far, but a lot of time the ball spent in between the arcs. Oh, Subin hands it straight back. Talk about a fast break opportunity. I'm not sure he's the fastest on the fast break, though. Got out, got it to Watson. He was searching inside, and the ball is shaping back. It just wouldn't do what it was supposed to. And in the shadows down there, Windelick couldn't get there. Watson just he seemed a little bit unsure. That's the right kick. He's, he's kicked it pretty much uh, perfectly. He just the, the bounce of the footy. And there's Zach Clark. Oh, there's a the little massage machine Moons was talking about. Got oh, good hands. Melksham, Windelick. Now Watson again. Dangerous kick, yeah. but he's got... No, he hasn't got away with it. And this is where the danger lies. The Fremantle... Stars coming out of defence. Hill, oh, Sandlands, Pavlich. Now they're on their bike. Oh, oh it's the danger man. It's Hill at half forward. Confronted. Forced to just pause for a moment and kicks. And just some hesitation among the bomber defenders as to who was going to go and collect it and who wasn't. Help from Gleeson. Bagley comes away. They've some out. work back as well, Hunter, from the bombers. It ended up with closing Hill up, stopping his run, and then the next five players back apart from Ballantyne were Essendon players. Surprised Goddard didn't pass to Hippel down here in front of us. Well, Goddard has just got up. He's saw. He's, he's grabbing he's his left, left saw. Look, he can't leave. He struggled to walk then getting up, Jerry. Yeah. Well, boys, he kicked on his left foot too. I reckon that might have put a fair bit of pressure on that uh, left groin of Dr. area. Maybe that's why he didn't kick to this side, Moons. He didn't want to kick on his right. He can't even chase. He couldn't even go after uh, He's Lockie got a Neal. serious lip now, guys. He looks shot. I suspect it won't be long before they're forced to make the move. Oh, the pack collapsed. Left standing were mainly Fremantle players, but the Bombers are going to get out of this one. See, sometimes like this, you can say, put him in the goal square for a bit. If he doesn't get much ball, then it actually seizes up more yeah. than anything else. So He's, come, mate, he's coming off the ground. Yeah, I don't think well. we'll see much of him after this. We might get him to quarter time, but... After that, I suspect that they'll have to go with the sub because yeah. otherwise you are a man down. Wow. Delicate pass to Hocking, takes the mark. Stanton with 13 disposals. Essendon have had 104 to 69. But as a result, that has only turned into five inside 50s. Well, they're going to need every midfielder, every able-bodied midfielder to really uh, lift their game here, the Bombers, because I think they're going to need Joe Watson as a forward target for a fair majority of the day. If Goddard's no good, we know the limitations they did have coming in. It's been exacerbated with Myers, a big-bodied midfielder not playing. So Watson will have to play target football in the forward half. They'll need a few grabs like that from Danaher. Peers into the 50, gets it moving while there's some space to work in. Win the look and the heat oh. was coming. Oh, the Fremantle players took out each other. It allowed Essendon through Watson an opportunity. They need to take an opportunity. Oh, wow. Watson knew that. Captain Fantastic kicks the goal. Well, after centering the last one to Noah Vial and uh, almost giving it up, you just go back and kick a contender for goal of the year. Well, there's his man in the collision there with his with his teammate Watson stayed at ground level Crowley goes down slow to get up after the back of that with Spur and then what a finish here Jared from Joe Watson question is will he go and tell Ryan Crowley about it after Crowley uh, did the same early I think you would you give him a nice little tap say what about that no shortage of heroics from Joe Watson on this ground last year he you last, last, Hutto. <laughs> Margin back to six. Essendon at last hitting the scoreboard in a major way. Will it lift them? Oh, good win. Ashby 
One of their youngsters. Certainly haven't been disgraced, their youngsters in this opening quarter. Clancy Pierce using his attributes, the bulk. Found the path, and then De Boer to half forward. Crozier with enthusiasm. Couldn't take the mark though, as brave as it was. Angley able to fire it back to Hooker, who cleaned up a bit of a mess. Kick well. Some aggression in the kick too, and Gleason stretching out. To half forward. Again, terrific mark in front of the body from Watson. Turns sharply into the pocket, and Danaher only needed the one miss. Well, I think uh, what we're seeing now is where the Bombers are at. They're going to need Watson to play that extra target in the forward line. That time it was up on the half forward line as a uh, running half, centre half forward almost. He turns around and uh, he kicks it to Joe Danaher, who over the last couple of weeks has had his trials and tribulations with goal kicking, but uh, excellent last week. Let's see if he can bring that confident form into this kick. We know the kicking has been the major worry for young Joe Danaher. And it is imposing here at Patterson Stadium, but he stares it down and puts it through and scores a level. And it's exactly what we expected, John. We know both sides are missing some of their very best players. It's unbalanced their size to some degree. So it is going to be... I think a, a, a long and very entertaining tussle, this one. Oh, it'll be an excellent uh, tussle, don't worry about that. But it's also what's pleased me in the first quarter from an Essendon point of view. It, yeah, their defenders are getting a lot of ball with the way it's played, but at the right time, they're breaking and they're breaking well. And, and Gleeson, number 35, he, he's the one setting the tone at the moment. He's breaking the lines, he's working from one side to the other, and that's what helps set Watson up there, who then was able to reel and go quickly and get it into Danaher's hands. No salad sandwiches for Bomber Thompson at the moment. He's agitated. In Pavlich the into the middle, Hutto, as you can see. Crowley, who's just been playing full back, he's now gone to full forward. Hurry kick away from the Pav. And the seconds are going to count down to quarter time. It's going to be an exhausting battle here today at Patterson Stadium. And at the end of the first, scores are level. Points to anyone, Jono or Jared, at quarter time? Well, it's even both sides in the end started to work out their ball use better through the uh, through the 50 metre arcs. Essendon just taking a little bit of control in the last five minutes. Couldn't split them, Hunter. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Never can score. It's two goals, one each. Quarter time at Patterson Stadium. Stay with us.